What's up guys? We have now built out our Angular application start to finish. Now we are going to want to deploy to Netlify. So one of the things you're going to first need is have a GitHub account and then have a Netlify account. So one of the things you're going to first need to do is see. So I'm going to seed into the root of my project, then I'm going to initialize. Okay, I'm going to add the files to Git. So git add, I'm going to add all of them using dot. So git then commit all of the changes. Then this is usually a chore in software development. So deploy, then deploy, and deploy this application to Netlify. So that's our commit. So let's push it. So we need to create a GitHub repository. Funny how we are pushing when we are not pushing anywhere. So, uh -huh. so GitHub opens up, then we just need to click on new. So let's click on the plus sign, choose repository. Then we want to create, we call our project project, very generic project final okay oh this is not really helpful so i'm going to call it alc form okay that's fine so save this create a repository then we need to get this link there then we can do git remote add origin git add remote oh no git remote add origin can do that it's going to add so now we can do git push origin master origin the master branch so tdd ta very quick and easy so it should have should have pushed our files which is done here so as you guys might already know Deploying to Netlify is just a piece of cake. It's just zero setup. So go to netlify.com. It's going to tell you to log in with your GitHub. Please do that. If I click sign in, it's going to just sign me in automatically. But it somehow knows that it's me. So what we need to do is just deploy our new app. So click on new site from Git. Then it's going to tell you to use GitHub. It's going to try to log in you log you in then. There we are. So the one we want is ALC form. If I search for ALC, okay, it's going to do a search. This is the one we want. Click on it. What well, it's going to just ask us the build command and then the publish command. So with Angular, we run ng build and then the publish directory is usually dist. So just put dist in there. And then basically what happens is when we run npm run build you will notice that okay let it first create it it's kind of going to if i go to my packet json it's going to build it out create a folder called dist and then in there it's going to put our project files in our project directory so let's see how it does it locally then that's the way we are going to publish it on netlify Looks done. So we have dist, then we have project. So the folder I want to publish will be dist slash project. Basically, that's it. So just click on deploy site and it's going to take a while. Uh huh. Funny, huh? Says Netlify robots are busy building and deploying the site our oh, CDN, which is kind of pretty cool because they kind of manage the caching for you. Great. So from here you have more options set up a custom domain. 
if you may be running a site that you want to be public facing of course you want to be unique you want to be easily understand understood easily remembered so you want to set up something that can be easy for your clients so they just give us HTTPS automatically which is pretty cool then one of the other things that's very nice for teams is PR previews so when someone makes a pull request it kind of builds it and then kind of gets a deployment URL for that review application so very good thanks to Netlify so it's saying us our app is published if we click on it let's see what we get and uh, wow we get our angular project so may not have loaded up but so here it is so we are set if we do another so everything is okay so that's going to be it guys for the series if you enjoyed the series please like and subscribe because i'm going to be making more interesting stuff if there's anything that you guys want to learn please leave a comment in the description if there's something you feel like we could do better just comment on it and then i'll be happy to work with you guys on the next project so thank you guys i'll see you guys in the next series or the next video so great time everyone